Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Polly. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's me, Izzy. Oh, hi, Izzy. Anyone else there? Uh huh. It's Ainsley and Frankie. Desmond. My name is Kristen, and I'm four. Oh, um, yeah, and I'm six. How old are you, Izzy? Uh, I forgot. What about you, Frankie? Seven. I'm like four or five. Oh, which one? I get mixed up. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, um, Izzy, I have a question. Yeah? What is it? What's in your mouth? Nothing. Are you sure there's nothing in your mouth? I'm sure. Nothing at all? Um, spit? Maybe it's just a piece of old food. A piece of old food in your mouth? That I need to chew up. Like what kind of piece of old food? Maybe some chicken. Some chicken? Yeah, because chicken's hard to chew up. Chicken is hard to chew up, huh? Yeah. yeah what do you that's... use to chew up your chicken? My teeth. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Uh, so you do have something in your mouth besides that old food. Yeah. What is it? My teeth. Your teeth. Teeth. There's a soft thing in there. Your tongue? My tongue. Your tongue. And your tongue? Tongue, tongue. Ah, hello. Hello. How many teeth do you think you have? Nine. You have nine teeth? I think so. Okay, can you take your finger and touch one of your teeth? And let's count them. One, two, three. Uh, I can't see them though. I want a mirror close by so I can look into it. A mirror? Yeah, a mirror. Oh, so we can um, see the teeth? Uh huh. And count them? Uh huh. Well, let's go find a mirror. Okay. Okay. Let's look in there. How many do you see? You count. I'll count. I'm going to touch each one as I count. The dentist does this too. Oh, thank you for holding your mouth open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the bottom. Now, how are we going to get a look at the top? I can only see the front ones. I can't see the back ones. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. You count with me. You have 10 on the bottom and 10 on the top. What about you? How many teeth do you have? 20. 16, 17, uh, 17. 17 Ooh. teeth, that's a good number. Will you always have that many teeth? No, I don't know. Certain people might have more teeth than I have because I've lost six teeth. Oh, lost? What do you mean? Where'd <laughs> Bali, they go? No, 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 no. It's totally normal. It happens to everybody. Oh, phew. The first teeth that you get fall out and new ones grow in. It means that you're getting to be an older person. So how do you know if you have a loose tooth? I mean, I'm just asking for a friend. To wobbly and it will fall out. That's wiggly and I'm gonna lose it. Have you ever lost a tooth? Two. <gasps> Two? How did you lose them? The first one I wiggled and the second one I ate an apple and it got really wobbly and then it fell out. Most recent tooth that I lost, it was very wiggly and I started twisting it so I just went tug and I pulled it out. Caps right out. So I was on a windowsill trying to say hi to my dad and then I slipped on the blanket. It was a mixture of excitement and surprise. My parents thought I was laughing, but I was actually crying. What did it taste like to lose a tooth? A little bit bloody. <laughs> oh. What happened after that? So they took me to the dentist, and I was so scared. But at the end, I got a surprise and I got to look in the treasure chest and I got a stamp. Because you were nice and brave? Uh-huh. And does it hurt anymore? No. How many do you think I have? Can you count mine? 
Mouth. You don't want to get sick by touching my mouth? Mm -hmm. well, that's right, we usually say don't touch the inside of other people's mouths <laughs> because there's lots of germs in there. Okay, I'll touch it. Here we go, ready? You count with me though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excuse me. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14. I have 14 on the bottom. Do you think I have 14 on the top or do you think I have fewer on the top? 14. I bet so, right? Because my mouth looks about even. Let's count the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have 14 on the bottom and 14 on the top. I have 28. You have 10 on the bottom and 10 on the top. You have 20. You're listening. You are listening. You listen to the Stacks. Peter Stacks. With Andrew and Polly. So I have a question. How do you know when you're going to lose your teeth? Well, if you haven't lost your teeth. Nine four. None of mine are wiggly. I hope you'll lose some soon. It happens when it's the right time. They should be excited to lose teeth. Why is that now? You can put it under your pillow. Do what now? Um, you put it under your pillow. Then you get a visit from the tooth fairy. Who, Who now? The tooth fairy comes! Wait, there's a fairy for teeth? So I have a question about the tooth fairy, Andrew. Yes, Polly? Uh, what does the tooth fairy do with all those teeth? She makes it into... A table or some chairs. She puts it in a machine and then puts it into sparkle. But on my first one, she gave it to her friend and she turned it into a pillow. Other people have a different way. I have a loose tooth. It's really, really wobbly. Six weeks now, but it just won't come out. I've tried wobbling it with my tongue, I've tried pushing it with my thumb, I've tried hanging upside down, but it just won't come out. But it just won't come. For it to come out I hope the tooth fairy isn't bored She's waiting for it to be done Dad wants to tie it to a door But that doesn't sound like fun I've tried wobbling it with my tongue I've tried pushing it with my thumb I've tried hanging upside down But it just won't come Soaking it in the bath I've been breathing out really fast I've tried jumping on trampolines But it just won't get free It just will not come out It just won't come Hey, Dad, I'm hungry. I've got an apple here if you like. Yes, please. Yummy, yummy. Ah, oh, my tooth came out. Yay! Yay! And that's our show. Thanks so much to Frankie, Ainsley, Desmond, brothers Jad and Kai, and Izzy for talking to us about the teeth in their mouth. And all the other stuff in their mouths. Special thanks to Frankie and her dad, Matt, all the way from Australia, who wrote that loose tooth song that we just shared. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I wrote the loose tooth song. Hi, we're hard to sing a song without using your teeth. Oh, you're right. I'm going to try it, though. I got a loose tooth. 
I got loose too. I got a loose too. <laughs> I got loose too. I just heard Andrew. Hmm. I wonder if there's somebody we could talk to who knows a lot about taking care of your teeth. Oh, Andrew, that person that you're thinking of that knows about taking care of your teeth, that's the dentist. Let's go. Oh, I don't, I don't know about going to the dentist, Polly. Oh, trust me, Andrew, it's no big deal. Let's go visit the dentist. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Come on, come on. I'll take you to meet Dr. Jesse Schwartz. Okay, let's try it. Thanks for listening to Ear Snacks. See you next time. Back. See you next time. For some more Ear Snacks. snacks. I'm on Ear Snacks. I'm on Ear Snacks. Are you trying to say Ear Snacks without you, your teeth? Yeah, no, don't use your teeth. Ear Snacks.